everyone, I'm Wise Brennan Quinn here at the Palestra at the University of Pennsylvania where Michigan State falls 72-63 to Penn State um, in a game that, that really showed some, some hard lessons for the Spartans. Uh, let's start with, um, with how Michigan State looked coming into this game. Uh, I thought that was a group that really was starting to feel good about itself. Uh, starting 3-0 in league play, getting Miles Bridges back. Um, you know, they, they were able to get two league wins without their best player. Um, the, the thought was, all right, now Bridges comes back, this thing really starts to take off, um, and, and improvement would really start to be seen over and over again. But in the end, I don't know if this group was quite ready to match up with a team that came out with the energy and effort that Penn State brought today. To, uh, to that team's absolute credit, uh, what is a pretty young Nittany Lions team, no seniors, uh, they usually start three starters. I uh, only had two starting uh, today, but uh, that's a young group that was really ready to play, and I thought all those guys knew their roles, whereas Michigan State's freshmen were all just kind of playing at times. And when you start a game like they did today with, with four freshmen out there who weren't quite uh, comfortable or, or ready to ready to play, uh, when you're going up against a team that's playing with some emotional energy like Penn State was today, you can get – you can get pushed around a little bit. And that thing, I think that all kind of fed on itself um, when, when Penn State started to really realize that you know, they, can match, they can match up with, with Michigan State. Uh, they got more and more confident, and then they worked harder and harder. In the second half, when uh, Michigan State's, or when Penn State's shooting really abandoned, um, abandoned them, they ended up going eight for 27 in the second half. They kept going after the ball. They kept valuing the ball, getting rebounds, getting loose balls. That you know they stuck with the things that got them where they were, even when the points weren't coming. And Michigan State wasn't able to do that. Um, they they just kind of would watch a loose ball go or would just miss rebounds, and that ultimately led to Penn State uh, winning this game. You know when when that team lost to Michigan on Wednesday, when the shots started being missed in the second half and they were losing their lead. They went off the rails in every regard. They stopped rebounding. They, they stopped valuing the ball. They started committing more turnovers. And and that's when the game flipped. Well, Penn State didn't do that this time around. And Michigan State just didn't have enough to overcome uh, the hole that it had already dug for itself. So um, a lot of questions remain for this this Michigan State group. Uh, certainly not the end of the world, but um, you know, for, for, for a guy like Miles Bridges, this is where things are right now. Um, yeah, he had a, a decent enough outing against Rutgers, but Rutgers is the worst team in the Big Ten for a reason. Um, today was a real basketball game, and, and Miles Bridges showed the rust of a guy coming back from an ankle injury and showed uh, a freshman who's still very much learning how to be a college basketball player, I think. So um, those are those are hard lessons to come by, especially when there's only 15 games remaining in the Sorry, 14 games remaining in the in the Big Ten schedule, but that'll do it um, for today. Michigan State returns to the court Wednesday against Minnesota in East Lansing, and I'll be there to tell you about that one as well. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching and reading and all that good stuff, and goodbye from the Palestra, this beautiful old barn here in West Philadelphia.